Hey guys, this is the Crypto Cowboy providing a quick update on Bitcoin. Um, it's uh, June 10th, uh, almost uh, 5 o'clock here um, on Central Time. So we are still monitoring the development of this triangle. Uh, from a previous video we were watching to see if the completion of this wave, um, uh, the completion of this wave C is done or not and um, the market seems to be hovering around these levels there's no clear impulsive move yet to the downside but there's also no impulsive move to the top side so uh, there are a couple of scenarios that could happen here and um, uh, if we are still waiting so so and one of the things we we said that this wave c is probably over and it, it's either here that's done or here it doesn't really matter let's say that it's there um, and now we're doing for example so this is a three wave move we can do a abc here uh which could be possibly a um double y so we can go Decompose it as a combination so you can have a three wave move here in W, you can have another X wave here, and now we can do a move up in wave Y to complete this D wave, which can be pretty much anywhere around this area, right? It could, usually about 618, so it could come lower. Um, it doesn't have to be extremely precise, but this is one scenario that could happen. Um, the other one is, if I'm deleting this up, so for this to happen, obviously, we need to get above uh, 81.50 and see if uh, we can get up here towards um, 85, 8600 area and then pull back and complete this D, pull back in E and then go back up higher. Um, so this is the triangle count. Now there is a possibility that this triangle count is not over yet and in the original, in the other video we were talking about the possibility of this being a 1, 2, 3, possible 4, uh, but you can see that wave 4 pulled if this was going to be a wave 4 it had to stay below the origin of wave 1 which would have been at about 80 16 about 8000 level but the market pulled up there so it cannot be a four a wave uh, um, cannot be a, um, a fourth wave anymore so kind of have to keep this in mind that this cannot develop anymore as a strong C wave unless this whole move up here becomes a second wave and I'll explain that in a second um, so we are watching this so for the triangle uh, to still develop this could be if i'm deleting this up um, and let's say this is an abc this could be very simple if i'm pulling the wave c down a little bit more um, this can be and i'm going to delete this abc this wave c can be um, wxy and i'm going to go here and do this uh, decompose it as a combination and we could have wave W that it's in a three wave move and now we're doing wave X or possibly wave X is complete in a three wave move now we can do a wave one but this is a three wave move so that bothers me it, it it's it's hard to count this as a wave one because it's just a three wave move so so that's not gonna work unless it's gonna be another um, well it could be it could be because it's an ABC uh, then it's another X, another zigzag, so it goes back down. So yeah, that is possible, where we're going double uh, this wave Y in another ABC. So actually, it's another combination. It would be like this, WX, and then um, something up here, and then wave Y down to complete this C. So this is another variation where you could have uh, this leg C of this triangle as long as we don't go below uh, and this is up here as long as we don't go below the origin of uh, why are my charts all messed up hold on let me okay there you go okay now it's better okay so as long as we don't go below the origin of wave A here with the wave C anything that's coming in the neighborhood of this it's pretty much valid so um, this could still develop as a sorry about that this can still develop as a as a Y wave coming down to complete this larger C now so we're still fighting with this triangle now here is the other possibility that we have right um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this okay and um, we we do have the possibility of this being a flat correction so for that to happen that means that this 
um, this wave C here, this here has to develop into five waves. So we can go one, two, one, two. So uh, that would kind of be something like this. I'm going to go and pull the, the impulse wave down as a bear and we're gonna we're gonna go this in red and I think I've mentioned this uh, into the other video as well but this could be a one two originally we were thinking that this is gonna be a one two wave three would be here and then wave four would be here and then we're gonna drop in five to complete this C but you can see that wave four terminates above wave one so it's not legal so the only way you can get that to happen is if you're having this wave three decompose which means that this wave c would have to be this wave c here would have to be much much larger so that would be something like this this wave five would have to come all the way here and then this wave three would have to be larger um, so I'm, I'm kind of running the waves on top of each other but i hope you understand this would be three and then we can decompose that as an impulse and you would have a one two here and now we're doing another third wave down but then again uh, my problem is with this move down here which is not a wave one because this is a three wave move so so I got issues I got issues with this wave count um, I'm keeping an eye on it as it develops right because this could be also on one a B C in a flat and then we're dropping down in two if you go to smaller time frames but uh, I'm not going to discount this possibility just yet. I want to see if it develops. I want to be prepared and I want to know where I'm wrong if this happens. So uh, that's kind of how I look at this wave counts inside the structure and I want to know how many possibilities I have, which one is my preferred one and kind of start canceling them out as they happen. Just exactly same way like we've canceled this count as being a one, two, three, four, five because it's not possible. It's exactly the same way that we're going to cancel uh, the other ones as they develop and then in the end we will end up uh, with the correct move and then the market uh, will start moving. So by that time the triangle or, or this flat should be completed and then we'll know that eventually we have to move up higher in a way five after all this mess um, gets gets resolved and that's what I've said uh, trading inside triangles it's very tricky it can be very choppy and you can lose a lot of capital trying to figure out what's going on so it's better to analyze it and just be patient let it develop let it let it come to you first and let it let it show you its hand uh, before you make any decisions with this all right so another thing I want to mention before I finish up this video and um, I think there's going to be a description below the video um, I am opening up uh, several uh, channels on telegram um, and I'm going to provide the links below and uh, we're going to go and um, do a little bit more detailed Elliott wave analysis on the main crypto pairs um, I will uh, open up also like a discussion room and then we will also have a couple of channels for uh, Forex markets and for commodities markets. Um, so I love trading commodities, oil, gold, uh, silver, um, uh, platinum. Uh, we can, uh, you know, take a look at some of the grains too, but, and then also um, the Forex markets are extremely interesting. And I think there's going to be some, some good moves happening here in the dollar. So um, if you're interested in that, and, you know, Elliott Waves obviously apply to all the markets. So um, there's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to put on there and uh, you guys can learn Elliot, uh, put questions, there'll be probably other traders uh, helping out. So um, take a look at the description link below this video and um, I, should have, I should have those there, okay? Um, all right, so if you like this, um, just, uh, you know, give me some thumbs up and, uh, you know, you can subscribe and uh, keep in touch, leave any comments you have and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks.